This video was intended to train healthcare worker and provide them with practical information of the safe and accurate use of SD Bioline Malaria Antigen PFPV Rapid Test. Malaria is caused by a parasite called Plasmodium, which is transmitted via the bites of infected mosquitoes. In the human body, the parasites multiply in the liver and then infect red blood cells. Symptoms of malaria include fever, headache and vomiting and usually appear between 10 and 15 days after the mosquito bite. A child dies of malaria every 30 seconds. There were 247 million cases of malaria in 2006, causing nearly 1 million deaths, mostly among African children. Among the genus Plasmodium, four species were identified to be capable of infecting humans. Of four species, Plasmodium falciparum causes the most severe morbidity and mortality and it is found mostly in the tropics. Malaria also caused by Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium ovale and Plasmodium malariae develops milder symptoms in humans that is not generally fatal. Malaria Rapid Diagnostic Tests RDTs, assist in the diagnosis of malaria by detecting evidence of malaria parasites in human blood. SD Malaria Antigen PFPV Rapid Test is one step, simple, rapid, accurate test. SD Bioline Malaria Antigen PFPV Rapid Test is for differential detection of HRP2 specific to Plasmodium falciparum and PLDH specific to Plasmodium vivax. HRP2 stands for histidine rich protein 2. It is a unique protein released by Plasmodium falciparum. Also, PLDH, Plasmodium lactate dehydrogenase, is an enzyme produced by malaria species in common. Specimen is 5 microliters of whole blood, and test result is only 15 minutes. Storage condition is 1 to 40 degrees centigrade for 2 years. Sensitivity is 99.7% for PF, 95.5% for PV, and specificity is 99.5%. This CE marked SD Bioline Malaria Antigen PFPV test was evaluated by WHO with outstanding performance results. SD Bioline Malaria Rapid Test is easy to use. The materials included in the kit are test pouch, buffer, inverted cup, package insert, alcohol swabs and lancets are optional material. Capillary pipette is also available when required. These materials should be prepared before starting the test. New unopened test pouch. New disposable inverted cup or capillary pipette. New unopened alcohol swab. New unopened lancet. New disposable gloves. Buffer. Timer. Lancing device. Now remember, all test materials must be used immediately once opened. Let's begin the test. Check the expiry date on the back side of the test pouch. If expiry date has passed, use another kit. Put on the gloves. Remember, use new gloves for each patient. Open the test pouch and set the test device. Write the patient's name on the test. If you have a lancing device, assemble the lancet with the lancing device. Unscrew the cap from the lancing device body. Insert the lancet into the lancing device holder and push down firmly until it is fully seated. 
twist the lancet protective disc until it separates from the lancet. Screw the cap from the lancing device body. Open the alcohol swab. Grasp the fourth finger of the patient's hand and clean the patient's finger with alcohol swab thoroughly. After cleaning the finger, it must be allowed to air dry. Remember, the alcohol must be dried before pricking or test may not work. Do not blow or wipe the finger when you dry. Pull out the lancing device body as far as it will go and then release it. It makes the lancet ready to prick. Push the blue button on the lancet device. Inside lancet will prick the patient's finger. Discard the lancet immediately after pricking the finger. As the blood bubbles up, take a disposable specimen and dip the circular end of an inverted cup into the blood specimen. The amount of blood collection is critical. This is correct amount of blood. It is too little. It is too much. Add 5 microliters of drawn blood into round sample well touching sample pad. Discard the inverted cup or capillary pipette immediately in the sharps box. Add 4 drops of buffer into the square buffer well. One, two, three, four. Wait minimum of 15 minutes up to 30 minutes. Do not read the test result after 30 minutes. Reading too late can give false results. Only one line C on result window means negative. Two color bands on PF and C line mean plasmodium falciparum positive. Two color bands on PV and C line mean plasmodium vivax positive. Also, you can meet three color bands on PF, PV and C line. It means mixed infection. If no line appears near the letter C, conduct test again with a new test device and new inverted cup. Dispose of test materials such as test device, gloves, alcohol swab, desiccant and packaging in a non-sharps waste container. Record the test results. Now remember, each test can only be used once. Do not try to use the test more than once. When you have a problem with your test, it could be solved by followings. Check specimen integrity for evidence of bacteria contamination, hemolysis and lipidic substances. Verify labeling, paperwork and procedures. Have the same technologist retest the specimen. Repeat testing blindly by another technologist. Repeat on reference test blindly. Repeat at different laboratory or reference laboratory. Determine true status by other assays. Recheck equipment and reagents.